All right, so these are the new secret animals. They are inside and cozy now. It's obviously a cow. She just dropped this little bull calf this morning as we were on our way to pick him up. Um, how old is she? I think she's uh, eight or something like that. Um, and then we have this cow here. And a few days ago, she had her beautiful little heifer calf. So uh, got another female on the farm, which is awesome. Now, she doesn't throw big horns. She's 12, um, but that's fine because the price was right and obviously the heifer calf is worth, worth the whole bunch. So yeah, the new additions to the farm. Nobody. I wish I had video of us picking up these guys because um, She's pretty protective over her calf that she obviously just had this morning. So I had to pick up the calf and run across this field while my father-in-law and the previous owner of these guys held up a, a gate portion and uh, tried blocking her off while I had her calf that she was trying to get to. So it was pretty exciting. Excuse me, what are you doing? What are you doing out here? Good-looking boy, too, aren't ya?
Well, if there's one thing about longhorns, they sure are pretty animals. And the calves are even prettier. Um, so I got this part sectioned off here. This is the, I'm using this kind of as a buffer zone. These guys, it's all, it's warm enough now that they can stay outside and they'll be just fine. Um, until we get the fence done. These guys can stay in here and nurse with the cows. We got plenty of hay, plenty of water, mineral blocks, all the good stuff. So yeah, that's the setup for now. Well, I have a lot of missing footage from yesterday. I was hoping to have the video up yesterday, but long story short, uh, the cows got out. Just chasing them. Uh, all over the place uh dolly pushed through the gate just blew it open and uh yeah so i got to chase them all around my wife was frantically helping me and making phone calls to everybody we knew luckily i got them back in just as all the help was arriving but I was just happy to have them back in. So, yeah, the Angus are up on the hill. Let's go check them out. That's the footage that I didn't get because of all the chaos. Um, yeah, let's hope they're still up there. Beautiful sight right there. Beautiful sight. Now a lot of this is goldenrod, but there's also dandelions and orchard grass, some clover. There's not a whole lot here, but for two animals, this is probably, oh, a quarter acre or so, maybe a half acre that I fenced off. And uh, for the two animals, there's plenty of plenty of grass around here. So one of the reasons I put these guys up here is because the fence is just taking me so long to do, and this field will quickly get away from us with goldenrod. So I need some sort of animal input to help manage the goldenrod. And uh, the longhorns are just way too high strung to put up here in this temporary fence. And uh, these Angus pretty much just do whatever you want them to do. So that's why they were elected to come up here and work for me. And I'm sure they're happy with it too. Their heads down all day long, so. I'm sure they're just loving it. Well folks, that's another video. This kind of videos jumbled up across a bunch of days. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it for now. Thank you for all the support. Happy to finally have at least some of my animals on green grass. It's a great feeling. So more to come soon. This weekend is going to be a big push to get at least the bottom fencing done. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Right now I'm working on the chicken tractor. Big shocker, I didn't get it done. But what can you do? So until next time, you know the deal. Keep farming. We'll see you later.